It's 4.50 in the morning, couldn't sleep well. So I decided to go on the internet like I usually do. Woke up to the best news I could ever, ever read. Not gonna lie, I cried a bit. If that makes me a pussy, so be it. Spider-Man is finally coming back to the Marvel Universe. Sony and Marvel are in talks. Well, they already had talks, but they talked it out. They're gonna work together. They're gonna let Spider-Man, my favorite superhero of all time in the Marvel Universe, to finally be in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Best news ever. But Sony will still have creative rights over it because they own the property. But they're finally working with Marvel. Hey, you gotta make money. Why not let Bosa to make money? Because this is gonna be a cash cow. Holy fuck. But yeah, Sony and Marvel making money and Disney for the fact because they own Marvel too. So everybody's making money, so everyone's happy. It took a long time for finally Sony to decide this stuff. So, the first Spider-Man movie under the Marvel Universe, under the Disney banner, God, that's a lot of names, come out in 2017. Which is also awesome. But what, what's coming before 2017, you may ask? Little movie called Captain America Civil War. For those of you who don't know about the Civil War storyline, Spider-Man was a major, one of the major people who is a major part of it. Along with a bunch of other guys who were part of it, but Spider-Man was one of the main guys too. And I was wondering how the fuck are you going to have a Civil War storyline without Spider-Man doing the whole iconic scene of him taking off his mask in front of everybody and revealing that he's Peter Parker. My mind is just going crazy right now because that's the best thing ever. Of course, they're going to have a different Peter Parker. Andrew Garfield did a good job. I don't mind his rendition of Spider-Man. Tobey Maguire did also a great job too, but in the Marvel Universe, I wonder who Sony and Marvel are going to choose. Whatever is like, I'm just happy that there's finally Spider-Man is going to be in the goddamn thing. Oh, it doesn't end there, guys. Since the Spider-Man is also coming out with its own movie, like I said, this opens up for Spider-Man to be in any other Marvel movie that's coming out after next year. What else is coming around in 2018 and so on? <laughs> Avengers Part 3. No. Avengers Infinity War Part 1 and then later on Part 2. So we may be able to see Spider-Man finally in the goddamn Avengers. Oh, I don't know about you guys, but I'm freaking out with this news. As a giant Spider-Man fan, I am so freaking out. In a good way, not in a bad way. I'm not bitching about this, because this is an awesome news. If you haven't noticed, my voice has been cracking due to me being emotional over this. Because this is the best thing ever. Like I said, I grew up as a Spider-Man fan. And a motherfucker can get really emotional over this and probably get tears of joy for this. But hey, if that makes me a giant pussy over crying over this, then I'm a giant pussy. You don't know all of you are, who are Spider-Man fans are like crying on the inside too with joy. So I'm gonna give props to Sony to finally work with Marvel. Like I said, it's all about the money here, but fuck. Every fanboy, geek, nerd is 
just shitting their pants with joy right now. This is the best thing ever, guys. Also, Fox needs to get on its ass and like let Fantastic Four be in this Marvel Cinematic Universe is all I gotta say. Come on, Fox. If Sony can do it, you guys can do it. Money, every, money for everybody. Come on, guys. But anyways, what do you guys think of this whole awesome news of this? Because, you know what? I can barely contain myself, so I'm gonna stop this video right here. Because, like, I'm really just kind of freaking out inside. The little kid in me is just jumping for joy. So, what do you guys think? Take it easy, Humanoid Nation. Bye.